India successfully launched nine satellites using its workhorse rocket, the PSLV, on the 26th of November. And one of them was the Bhutan Sat. It's been jointly developed by Indian and Bhutanese scientists and Vyond's correspondent, Siddharth MP, spoke with Bhutan's Minister for Information and Communication, Leon Po Karma Wangdi, about the India-Bhutan relationship and also the immense impact of India's space diplomacy after this launch. Listen it. India successfully launched Bhutan Sat, a gift from India to Bhutan. To talk to us about this development, we are joined by Minister His Excellency Leongpo Karmadi Wangdi, Information and Communication Minister Bhutan. So please tell us, what does this momentous launch mean for India-Bhutan ties? Thank you, first of all. India and Bhutan share a very strong bond of friendship. The relationship between our two countries has been unwavering over the decades. This collaboration in the field of space, science, and technology launches our relationship into the final frontier. Today's launch of the India-Bhutan satellite is a historic moment and a key milestone in our relationship. This is just the beginning of our collaborative efforts in the exploration and utilization of outer space as envisioned by our leaders, His Majesty the King and the Honorable Prime Minister of India. While this is a small beginning for Bhutan's fledgling space program, it is a historic record of things to come. And this, will, this was all made possible because of the generous support of the government and the people of India. The government and the people of Bhutan thank you wholeheartedly. So when it comes to this mission, how many scientists and students from Bhutan worked on it? And how was the collaboration with the Indian Space Research Organization? The India-Bhutan satellite is jointly developed by engineers and scientists from the Indian Space Research Organization, Government of India, and the Department of Information Technology and Telecom, which is uh, under the Ministry of Information and Communications of the Royal Government of Bhutan. Uh, a team of eight engineers from our IT and Telecom Department were involved in this project, out of which three engineers worked on the secondary payload development and testing, while the rest of the engineers worked on the ground station setup and operations. The Ministry of Information and Communication is very fortunate to have been given this opportunity to collaborate with ISRO. ISRO has always rendered persistent support and guidance to our engineers throughout the satellite realization process. ISRO has also provided technical support in establishing the ground station for the joint satellite and trained our Bhutanese engineers in the operation and tracking of the joint satellite. How does Bhutan as a country and the scientific community specifically benefit from this launch of BhutanSat? The India-Bhutan satellite has two missions. The first is to take images of Bhutan, which will be utilized for landslide inventory mapping, forest coverage mapping, and urban settlement mapping. The second mission will enable text messaging between amateur radio users facilitated by the amateur uh, radio payload which is on board the India-Bhutan satellite. And the overall objective of this project is to build the capacity of Bhutanese engineers in satellite development and ground operations while also harnessing the benefits of space technology. Vyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.